Hello everyone and welcome back to The Frame Channel. Solar panels can create clean, green electricity capable of powering our homes by capturing and absorbing sunlight. With their year-round sunshine, desert areas seem to be the obvious choice to collect the sun's abundant energy. Still, the challenging conditions of these arid areas mean that special maintenance is required. In this feature, we explore how thousands of solar panels survive the harsh deserts. In dusty environments such as desert landscapes, the large surface area of solar panels can easily become covered by airborne dust and sand. This greatly reduces the light-absorbing capabilities in these panels and, in turn, the electrical output of the equipment, sometimes up to 35%. Since solar panel fields cover vast areas of land, manual cleaning would be costly, labor-intensive, and inefficient. Bring in the robots! Autonomous solar panel cleaners are single-function cleaning machines using rotating microfiber brushes and air to dust away any debris from panel surfaces. They are completely autonomous, fit into the frame of the panel, and are themselves powered by solar energy. These machines can clean the panels daily without the need for vast amounts of water, making them an environmentally friendly and economically conscious choice. In parched, sandy desert landscapes, water scarcity is a huge concern. In order to use water for cleaning, it would need to be transported to the site using trucks, thus increasing the carbon footprint and decreasing the eco-credentials of this green technology. Cleaning such a vast expanse of panels is much more challenging than smaller home solar installations. Here, detergents and small amounts of water would suffice. Detergents, however, are not recommended for cleaning desert solar farm panels. It is no surprise, therefore, that waterless cleaning solutions such as the dust-busting robots that we saw earlier have been developed. In their constant quest for advancement, scientists have also created a new method for removing debris. A transparent, conductive surface currently being developed at MIT can be used to coat solar panels. This coating electrically charges any dust or sand that accumulates on the surface. Voltage can then be applied to the panel's exterior via a robotic charging device. This causes the sand and dust particles to jump from the panel as they are electrically repelled. The solar equipment is then debris-free and can continue working at full capacity. This advanced alternative to the dusting bots has the potential to remove dirt without causing any scratches or damage to the surface of the solar panel. For solar-generated electricity to efficiently produce worthwhile amounts of energy, vast areas of land and long hours of intense sunshine are required. Understandably, this results in many of the world's solar farms calling desert terrains their home. These solar farms consist of swaths of interconnected solar panels covering vast expanses of land. The resulting enormous surface area of the combined panels allows for maximum light absorption. Photons fall onto a semiconductor surface within the panel to generate the release of electrons to produce electricity. The electricity created by solar fields or farms is fed into the grid and is then used to power a range of household electronics in the surrounding area. 
In 2019, solar-generated electricity accounted for just 3.1% of all electricity produced worldwide, with countries like China and the U.S. leading the way in terms of production. However, in response to climate change, solar and other renewables are growing in popularity worldwide. Cleaning technologies such as those we've seen so far will ensure that we can maximize the output of this equipment in the future. But where do solar panels come from and how are they made? Solar panels are constructed from multiple solar cells, sometimes referred to as photovoltaic cells, which are connected together to work as one panel. Silicone is the most essential ingredient in cells because it acts as a semiconductor, allowing electrons to be created from photons. To process this material, silicon dioxide is fired in an electric arc furnace to remove most of its impurities before further refining ensures it reaches a pure state. This pure silicone is then crystallized and sliced into rectangular or hexagonal wafers called cells before adding phosphorus ions. The cells are then connected to each other using electrical contacts and thin strips of tin-coated copper. A special anti-reflective coating of titanium dioxide is applied to each cell to ensure that the panel can soak up as much sunlight as possible. Individual cells are then encapsulated into a panel frame before they are ready to be used on site. Of course, as with any technology, scientists and engineers look for ways to improve upon existing models, and solar cell production is no exception. Unbelievably, incredibly slender solar cells can now be printed onto sheets as thin as paper. Their sleek and flexible design enables the product to be applied to a wide range of surfaces. The applications really are endless. These lightweight and flexible panels have the potential to be installed anywhere the sun shines, even on your camping tent. Creative engineering means that transparent panels can be crafted to absorb different wavelengths from sunlight while allowing some visible light to penetrate through the cell, which is great for a building's windows. Whether transparent or opaque, the panels are printed in multiple layers, which include the conductor material, two electron transport layers, an active layer, and a silverback electrode layer. Even with all this printing, the relative cost of creating these cells is much lower than for more extensive conventional panel installations. However, as technology currently stands, printed cells offer a much less durable alternative to their traditional counterparts, with a lifespan of just six months compared to 25 years. But as we know, nothing in the world of science stands still for long, and we expect to see improvements in this technology in the very near future. So what does all of this mean for the future of the solar panel market? In 2021, the photovoltaic sector was valued at an impressive $199.26 billion and is expected to reach just over a trillion dollars by 2028. Driven by environmentally conscious choices and electrification in off-grid areas, 
This represents a phenomenal 25.9% compound annual growth rate for the period. With projections like these, the solar panel industry seems to have a bright future ahead. That's the end of this feature on the frame. Hope you enjoyed it! Make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time!